Hello and welcome to yet another Android video. In this video we are going to create a HUD for our game. Hello and welcome to yet another and Engine video. In this video we are going to design a HUD. A HUD, short for heads up display, I believe, is basically something that sticks to the screen. So if we decided to move the screen, for example when we follow the player, the HUD will stay with us and everything we attach to it will also stay with us. So creating a HUD is really easy. You just create a HUD, ver HUD object and then name it for example my HUD. It's a private HUD. I don't know if I have said this before but private pretty much means that only this class main activity can access it. So we have now created an object, my HUD. We're going to need a sprite for our HUD too. So private sprite my HUD sprite. Now over here on non create resources, we're going to Okay, we might as well do that later. We're going to create our sprite at least. My HUD sprite equal to bit map texture atlas texture region factory dot create from asset this dot our atlas and this asset manager and a string is going to be gfx dot hud dot png we're just gonna leave the position to zero zero for now so I'm gonna go ahead and open up our older images let's see local disk and engine and engine tutorials one and then assets gfx just gonna check the size for our my name image and it is roughly 64 in the y axis 65 plus 64 plus 60 65 plus 65 because we need one space open. If you don't understand why I'm doing this, you should probably check an earlier tutorial. I believe I covered it in the first tutorial when we created our circle. Basically, it is the coordinates on the map of our entire images. Oh, texture region, not sprite. My bad. Haven't programmed this for a while. So anyways, now we have created our HUD sprites. And we we'll probably need to increase the size of our atlas, because otherwise it will not be able to contain our HUD, because our HUD will be the same size as our image, which is camera width and camera height, and that is 480 by 640. So we're going to go ahead and create an image that is just as big as that. So it's going to fill up the entire screen, 640, and we're going to remove everything, name it hud.png. And now it's just, it's just going to be something very simple. Usually a uh, hud contains, for example, the health of your character, ammunition or something like that, maybe the level and such. But since we're not doing anything advanced like that for the moment, we're just going to do something simple so you get the idea of it. Basically, I'm going to draw some kind of border. For example, maybe over here. Like that. And like that. Whoops. There we go. So this is going to be the HUD, very simple, I'm just going to draw something maybe, just add some simple text to it, colors, make it black and this is my HUD. So now we have, uh, we have our HUD which is 480 by 640 in the size. And down here we are going to cr define our HUD. So my HUD equals to new HUD. I'm 
get that and now we're going to do this camera dot HUD okay. camera dot set HUD this should work not in game HUD, my HUD let's see we don't have a camera object I'm pretty sure we have a camera. Oh, okay. We have to find our camera inside here. That means we can't access it from this void. So, what we're going to have to do is that we need to define this camera up here in the main class. So, final camera, camera. Playing fun of the camera, not the thing. Yeah, I know. Okay, then we're going to place it below here. It goes the new camera. Oh, oh, camera underscore width underscore height. I'm not going to remove this. So what basically what we have done is we have created a camera up here so we can access it from the other voids and other classes. And we have also created a HUD containing a sprite. And we have set the HUD to stick onto the camera so the HUD will follow it. So I forgot something very simple. I forgot to actually attach the image of the HUD to the scene. Since we want it to be set to the HUD and we want it to follow the camera, we need to do this. My HUD, which is the HUD that follows the camera, dot attach child. So instead of attaching it to the scene, like we have done with over here with the circle and my name, we're actually attaching it onto the HUD. And we're going to attach my HUD sprite. And then we're actually going to need a sprite. Private sprite. My HUD sprite. I'm going to set this to my HUD image instead. So, my HUD sprite equals to new sprite. Zero zero my hood image this that gets vertex buffer object manager and now I believe it should work. Just need to connect the phone again. There we go. As you can see it fits perfectly onto the screen, just as it wanted it to. If we decided to change the size of the screen, for example camera width and camera height, we will also camera height, we will also need to create a new HUD. So this is my HUD, so if we actually move the screen, the HUD will follow and the number, my name and the circle would stay in the same place. In the next video I am probably going to show you how to create two buttons and when we press them we're going to move our circle either to the left or to the right. That was all for the, this video. In the next video we are going to create two buttons and go are going to move the circle object and we're also going to set our camera to follow the circle. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you a lot for watching. If you like my channel and like my videos, please subscribe and maybe give the video a thumbs up. And as well, spread a message, message if you have friends who want to learn to program for Android. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.